CERN, also known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is generating significant attention once again due to recent discoveries that have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. However, before we delve into these discoveries, let's explore what makes CERN an incredible captivating place on Earth. CERN is an intergovernmental organization compromising 23 member states, tasked with operating the largest laboratory for particle physics globally. Situated in a northwestern suburb of Geneva on the border of France and Switzerland, CERN serves as the hub for half of the world's particle scientists and currently houses the largest and most powerful particle collider called the Large Hadron Collider (LHC). We'll discuss the LHC in more detail later. Notably, CERN's researchers made a groundbreaking finding in 2012, the discovery of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. This elusive particle is responsible for imparting mass to all other particles, essentially being the building block of everything we observe in the universe. Furthermore, CERN's particle physicists engage in experiments involving antimatter, which they produce using the antiproton decelerator. This apparatus slows down antiprotons, allowing scientists to study their properties. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that in 1989, a CERN scientist named Tim Berners-Lee laid a foundation for the internet by creating the World Wide Web WWW. Originally developed to facilitate automated information sharing among scientists, universities, and institutes worldwide, the WWW has since transformed the way we communicate and access information. Now, let's return our focus to the Large Hadron Collider (LHC). If you're familiar with the character Flash, you may recall that he gained his super speed after being struck by a lightning storm caused by a particle accelerator and dark matter. However, it's important to note that the Flash's particle accelerator and the LHC are quite distinct from each other, despite both being involved in accelerating particles and causing collisions. The LHC is a genuine scientific apparatus used in particle physics research, adhering to the principles of the field. On the other hand, a flash particle accelerator is a fictional device found in comic book superhero stories, operating within the realm of fictional superhero fiction. The Large Hadron Collider holds the distinction of being the largest and most powerful particle collider in the world. Its creation was not a quick process. Instead, it took scientists a remarkable two decades to construct this monumental scientific instrument. Over 10,000 scientists, hundreds of institutes, and representatives from 100 countries collaborated on the groundbreaking project. The LHC is renowned for being one of the most expensive scientific end divorce, with a price tag exceeding 7.5 billion euros. Situated within a 27-kilometer circular tunnel, the LHC consists of superconducting magnets and numerous accelerating structures designed to enhance the energy of the particles throughout their journey. Two beams of particles, primarily protons, are propelled along separate paths, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. These beams are accelerated to velocities approaching the speed of light. When they reach their maximum speed, the particles are directed to collide with one another. The collisions inside the LHC result in the breakdown of the particles into even smaller components, including quarks and gluons. Quarks, which are subatomic particles, possess high instability and can decay within a fraction of a second. Gluons, on the other hand, serve as the mediating force in these collisions. The entire collision process is carefully detected by sensors positioned within the collider, which collect and transmit the data to an extensive grid of computer systems. In 2010, the first collision within the Hadron Collider marked a significant milestone. This achievement occurred two years after the collider's development with the particles colliding at combined energy of 7 tera electron volts, surpassing the previous record by nearly four times. Subsequent upgrades were implemented, enabling the collider to reach a combined energy of 13 tera electron volts. Various improvements were made to the collider until 2018 when it underwent a shutdown lasting over two years. After undergoing upgrades and maintenance, the collider was restarted in 2021 with a maximum beam energy of 6.8 tera electron volts per beam. This current run is expected to continue until 2025. Throughout its existence, the Large Hadron Collider has unveiled significant mysteries, including the long-awaited discovery of the Higgs boson particle we discussed earlier. Prior to the collision in 2012, the Higgs boson particle and field were mere theories, as previous experiments had failed to detect them. However, following several upgrades to the LHC, the existence of the Higgs boson was finally confirmed. 
In July 2022, an astonishing discovery occurred within the Large Asian Collider project. On July 7th, a mysterious crack appeared in the Earth's magnetic field. This enigmatic fissure did not manifest abruptly or vanish quickly. It remained open for an astonishing 14 hours. This breach in the Earth's magnetic field allowed solar winds to permeate through, leading to strong geomagnetic storms and a captivating spectacle. The sudden appearance of this crack raises questions about its origins and how it materialized seemingly out of nowhere. Researchers attribute this event to a distinctive phenomenon known as corrotating interaction region originating from the Sun. These regions involve the creation of large-scale plasma structures in the lower to middle latitude regions. They emerge as a result of interactions between distant solar wind streams and the surrounding slow solar wind. In addition to this remarkable occurrence, the collider made significant discoveries during a collision on July 5, 2022. Three novel exotic particles were identified. Among them were previously unseen type of bentaquark, consisting of four quarks and an antiquark, as well as the first pair of tetraquarks which encompassed a fresh tetraquark configuration. To date, the LHC has successfully detected a total of 70 newly identified hadrons, further expanding our knowledge in this field. Since the inception of the Large Hadron Collider project by CERN, numerous speculations have arisen, suggesting that the organization aims to create portals to black holes or other dimensions. Some individuals have even claimed that the Sun serves as a gateway for malevolent entities to enter our universe. However, it is important to emphasize that all such assertions and myths lack a factual basis and are purely speculative. A physics professor from the University of Buffalo has refuted these claims, stating that the collider, as well as any technology of its kind, is constrained by specific limitations that prevent access to black holes. Furthermore, there is a belief among some that the Large Hadron Collider possesses the capability to open a portal to an alternate dimension from which humans cannot return. Additionally, there are those who believe that our current reality is a parallel dimension resulting from the LHC's reactivation in 2022. However, it is crucial to note that these notions are purely speculative and lack scientific evidence. Many of these concerns were raised by Max Lulin, a teenager possessing profound knowledge of quantum and particle physics. According to him, we initially had a specific timeline but as soon as the anomaly occurred during the experiment, we were propelled into an infinite number of parallel universes. This safety concerns coupled with fears of creating a black hole prompted a protest against CERN. A group of individuals demanded the shutdown of the LHC. Nonetheless, the researchers at CERN have continued their scientific investigations and maintain a confidence in the safety of their work. Numerous professors and researchers have also stepped forward to address these concerns, expressing their assurance regarding the Large Hadron Collider's operations. The primary objective of the ongoing operation of the particle accelerator is to investigate the existence of a mysterious fifth force of nature, which scientists believe may exist. The discovery of this elusive force has the potential to profoundly transform the field of particle physics. Additionally, researchers aim to acquire further knowledge about dark matter particles and ghost particles, also known as neutrinos. Neutrinos similar to electrons but lacking charge are produced within the course of stars. In the foreseeable future, there are plans to upgrade the Hadron Collider, enhancing its collision energy, luminosity, and detectors. The Luminosity Upgrade Initiative began in 2018 and is expected to conclude in 2027. This upgrade will enable the Particle Collider to more effectively observe rare processes and gather valuable insights. The current run of the collider will conclude in 2025. After a potential lengthy hiatus, there are intentions to initiate a fourth run in 2029, with a collision rate 10 times higher than the current one. This fourth run is anticipated to span until 2042, amassing an extensive dataset that is 10 times larger than that of the previous run. Scientists will be engaged in a quest to unravel various mysteries. They will seek to comprehend the true nature of the Higgs boson, explore the existence of nova particles beyond the standard model, delve into the enigma surrounding dark matter, investigate the secrets of antimatter, and uncover the fundamental properties of plasma. The answers to these intriguing questions have the potential to revolutionize our future existence. The discoveries made by CERN are not only captivating but also fundamental for advancing our comprehension of the universe. With each new revelation, we can only imagine the vast expanse of knowledge and exploration that awaits us in the future. 
It serves as a reminder that the pursuit of science is an ever-evolving process, and there will always be fresh insights and discoveries on the horizon, fueling our perpetual quest for knowledge.